And on to all the stories, the medical director of Federal Medical Center, Abiyokuta, Professor Dewale Musa Olomu, has been speaking on the proposed University of Medicine and Medical Services. The Senate approved and passed the bill establishing the university, awaiting Green Chamber's ratification and presidential assent. According to the MD, once the process is concluded, the university will be a world-class university that will endear many to the center as well as reduce medical tourism. That the thing has been finally approved by the Senate, very soon the House of Rep will ratify it and uh, the federal executive will eventually assent to the bill by the Senate grace of God. Yes, our promise is to establish a world-class, number one, highly rated university. And if you want to do that, we don't want to localize our operational ability of the university to Egba alone, to Ugun alone, to Nigeria alone. We want to go outside the world to see what is happening as far as academy is concerned. Academia is concerned. And that's why we are collaborating with some university in the United Kingdom, in the US, in Edinburgh, as well as Sheffield. By the sake grace of God, everything we manifest when the university is established. And this will give our products the opportunity to be marketable anywhere in the world in terms of uh, medical services. We know we say health is worth. So we want our products to be marketable, to be acceptable to the world. And that's why we are doing this. And by the sake grace of God, you will see when we establish. Now, on talking housing, where the federal government has expended over 30 billion naira uh, in the last four years uh, by incorporating foreclosure law uh, as part of plans to de risk the housing and the mortgage sector. This is uh, according to the managing director of the NMROC, Kende Ogundimu, after an interaction with the Ogun State Ministry of Housing. He says the policy seeks to create conducive environment for accessible and affordable mortgage for the benefit of people, particularly low-income earners, to acquire their own homes. The Ogun State Commissioner for Housing speaks about the plans by the state government to make housing accessible to all. The most important thing that it reduces the cost of housing because you know that you are, the chance of you getting your money back is higher now. You charge a smaller premium for default risk. You know when you are pricing, you look at the free cost of free funds, then you look at default risk, credit risk and all of that. Once a state has foreclosure law in place, those risks are reduced. So then you don't have to charge higher for those things. So it is a very good thing in the sense that it lowers the cost of funding uh, for, for, for even the borrower in the long run. And the investors become much more comfortable doing business. It's a long term, long term not loan, but I think about 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. And that is about the cheapest that you can find anywhere in Nigeria. So far, from the data that we have, that's one billion is, is, is fully spent. Giving the buyers of uh, Prince Court Estate and Cobac Warehousing Scheme and other schemes, giving them these mortgages, is fully spent on Ogun affordable housing project. And that is the baseline. away from health matters to environment, continuous engagement and synergy among the stakeholders have been identified as some of the measures to encourage proper waste disposal and safe environment. As the discussion on waste disposal and management remain in the front burner, environmentalists are optimistic that uh, the right framework, the environment will be better for it. Our correspondent Funke Disochi tells us more. Refuse disposal is one of the major environmental problems that developing countries are faced with, with attending effects such as health hazards, traffic congestion, flooding and blockade of drainages as some of the problems caused by the lack of efficient waste management. But environmentalists say sustained advocacy on enforcement on proper waste management with policymakers will reduce the practice and impact. To support our 
initiative around sustainability, advocacy, and enlightenment for people. It brings practical, academic, youthfulness, finance, everything together to be able to come up with a better solution for waste management across the state for now and the years to come. And by doing so, we have also partnered with Lagos State's Primary School Board so that by the time the kids come back to school this September for the next academic year, they will have about half an hour training on waste management at least once a week. And that can help us advocate for ensuring that people have beans in their house, people are not flight tipping, people are not from migrating with from one source to another, people are separating. Because when you catch them young, they will grow into the society. Not like us. We do it instinctively. But with them, they will be able to correct mom, why don't we have a pain in our kitchen? Mom, do you know what PSP is? Who's our PSP? They will ask questions. And by the time they start asking questions, that ge this generation of survivors that we are in for 18 and above will start getting to change our attitude. So that's one of the old ideas. So we're deploying everything we have. Although disposal method after collection such as dump site, incineration, recycling and home garbage disposal units were introduced in cities like Lagos. However, attitudinal change among Nigerians remain an impediment to the desired results. So what policy enforcement has government put in place to prevent the damage to the environment? How the entire ecosystem in Nigeria can evolve into an effective circular economy where every um, waste product does not necessarily end that waste immediately, where it can be recycled and repurposed for it to be able to add more value to the economy. We actually have that ongoing right now. And then we're also bringing in policymakers into the room to have this conversation, and we're looking to have it as a series, and yes, to end up as effective policies. The chain of destruction to the environment is multifaceted, but the general consensus is the call for sustained advocacy and campaign on the menace of improper waste on the environment and beyond. Funke Adesoji, reporting for Civil Bear News 24.